I picked this radio up from a charity shop for £4.99. It is the rather wonderful Ferguson 3196. It's a bit of a beast, as you can see. It's a bedside radio. You need quite a big side of your bed, I guess, to, to fit this in. And it dates from 1975. So this is 46 years old. And it is beautiful. And I fully expected it to not work. Um, but it does. Listen. To never have sunlight on your face. That's enough of that. So yeah, it works perfectly. And I thought, well, what can I do with this? Because let's be honest, the technology is a little bit outdated. It does have long wave, medium wave, short wave, and FM. What does FM stand for? Frequency modulation or something. As far as I know, shortwave isn't isn't on anymore. I can't pick anything up on it anyway. And on long wave, I keep expecting to hear some like there you go, some like Stranger Things. Uh, I don't know what's going. Oh. Very muffled, but something there. And I guess medium wave. Is also, I don't think it's used very much. Uh, but, oh, that was handy. Okay, shh, shh. I thought what I'd try and do is bring this up into the 21st century by adding Alexa. Why not? I picked this up on a deal on Amazon, I think it was 9.99. And this is one of the plug-in ones that has got Alexa built in. It's got a little speaker in it. It's also got a three and a half mil uh, output audio out. So it's obviously 240 volts that goes into it. It will then convert it presumably to five volts. I've got these little amplifier boards, which are used in the Amazon Echo, which I converted into a Bluetooth speaker. And I think that will work for this. It does have a three and a half mil input. I've got no idea how I'm going to wire it up. And I also don't know how I'm going to get into this, because it's, um, yeah, there's no screws on it. I don't know if there's a non-destructive way of, of getting in there, but I'll find out. And basically what I want to do is try and take the insides out of that, fit them in here somehow, and see if we can get Alexa playing out of this bad boy. So I guess the first thing I need to do is is open this up and just see what we've got going on on the inside. So let's do that. Right, I've obviously unplugged it. So we've got some rusty screws to take out on the back. It's not the back, it's the bottom, Steve. Anyway, while I'm doing this, I'll shout out my Holy Hand Grenade patrons, which this week is Tidder and Jamrag Berlin. Thanks very much, guys. Much appreciated. These screws are tiny. Oh, 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 we've got to seize one there. Oh, there we go. I should really have mentioned, I, I don't want to change the aesthetic, aesthetics? I should have mentioned, I don't really want to change the look of this. <laughs> aesthetics sounds better. Anyway, I want it to look the same. So whatever I do, I don't want it to be visible from the outside, and I still want it to function as it as it's intended as a as a radio. All right, let's see if we can get in this now. Hmm. Um. Oh, there we go. Movement. Oh, doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel very good. Feels like I'm breaking it. I think it's just stuck with age. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Ow! Remember, kids, I'm not an expert in these repairs. Oh, that hurt. Right. Do still need to be careful just because it's unplugged. It doesn't mean it's not going to have some big capacitors in here that will blow my socks off. Right, there we go. Wow. Nice. Right, where do I start with this? Do they need to come off? Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
Nice. Right. Right, so we've got the 240 volts is coming in here. It winds around here and it goes to this big transformer here. Right, I think I'm going to try and open up the Alexa thing so I can see what I'm dealing with inside there. If indeed I can actually get into it. Ah, we might have a screw under there. Yes, we do. It looks like a star bit. It looks like a T10. Yep. Is that going to come apart now? Aha! There we go. There's some teeny tiny star screws there. That's a 1.3. Wow. Right, so I'm guessing everything that's under here is the 240 volts to, I'm guessing, 5 volts. In fact, does it say on the label that I just peeled off? Yep, yeah, input 100 to 240 volts, output 5 volts. Perfect. Right, change of plan. Under here, we've got the 240 volts coming in here. There's a couple of jelly crimps or whatever they're called here. And then it runs off to this, this transformer here. If I put some Wago connectors in here and run some wires through to the Amazon Alexa device, I can use the two AC inputs on here. And it's probably going to be safer because this, this might have its own protection built in. Then we've got the 5 volts coming out of it here. Plus, there's plenty of room over on this side to mount stuff. said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not an expert in these repairs. This may well explode. Right, well, let's do it. Let's do it and see what happens. Just need to make sure these are at 11 millimeters. Right, okay. Let's hook this back up and let's see if it explodes. It's not going to explode, right? Right, let's try and plug it in. Well, the radio's come on and nothing's exploded. And I can see a, f a light here for the Alexa. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Listen once I hear the wake word. 
amazing. I'm actually wondering now whether I need the external amplifier or whether I could just run... I'm going to see what it sounds like through that speaker. Just from those connections there. I'm guessing it's not going to be very powerful. Let's try it. Alright, well that's a couple of temporary wires on. Let's plug it back in. Say... Who? If you want me to repeat something you said, say Simon says and then immediately say what you want me to repeat. Right, well that sounds terrible. Simon says that sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. Thank you. What volume are you set to? This device is at volume 9. Set volume to 4. Simon says, does this still sound terrible? Does this still sound terrible? Yes, it does. Successful test to prove that it sounds terrible. So let's see if we can hook this little amplifier board up. Okay. Well, I need to splice the 5 volt line here as well, don't I? Which should be easy enough. There we go. And I've got a little three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter plug here. But it does have Bluetooth. So I think I can probably, and this is Bluetooth. So if I can go into the Amazon Alexa app, I should be able to, to configure that. So let's try that. Tell me a joke. What kind of music do kangaroos listen to? Hip hop. Yeah, genius. And it works, but it's just not very loud. I'm, I'm quite disappointed. I wonder if there's a way that I can tap into the amplifier in here. There's like a five pin DIN connection on the back. Now I don't know if that's for a speaker out. No, in fact the speaker's in the one next to it. What if that's for an input? Input. Hmm, I'm going to play around. I'm getting somewhere. Yes! And that sounds incredible. Right, I think I've worked it out. So, this is an input, obviously, because I've got the two wires into there. On the front, I'll show you in a bit, but there's a there's the same symbol as there is on the back, where it looked like a, a reel of tape and a turntable, on FM and shortwave, I think it is. So, you press both of those in, and I think that is the input. Wow. So if I can work out where those points are on the back of this, I should be able to solder this in. If I can do this without electrocuting myself, that would be awesome. Uh oh, I'm going to unplug this. Right, so the middle one, the middle one comes up here. You're not really going to be able to see this, so I just need to work out where the top left, which was this one, where does that come up? So that comes up here. So I've soldered a wire to here, and to here, or there, there and there. That should be it. Let's try it. Right, there we go. And the beauty of doing it this way, I guess, is that I can still use the Bluetooth function of this board. So I can have Alexa connected up to it, but I can also connect my phone up to it and just play straight through it. Well, in theory. Let's plug it back in, see what happens. Play Spotify. Wow. I'm really pleased with that, because you're not going to be able to see any of this from the inside. I'm utilising the amplifier of of the original radio, the original amplifier of the original radio originally. Awesome. Right, let's I'm gonna try and fit all this in, tidy it up. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this. 
And there we go. Let's see if it works. It's like the sun going down on me. I'd say that works. Right, so if we put those two on and switch it on, we should have Oh, um, tell me a joke. What do you call a hobbit wearing a gold chain? Lord of the Blings. Nice. Play Squadder B. Would you like to play the video half a B on your Fire TV? No. Play She No Dull Beat by Nana Quabina. I couldn't find She No Dolby by Nana Muscuri, but here is other music <laughs> by Nana Muscuri. No! That's absolutely not happening. Play Tubby by Steve Adams. Tubby by Steve Adams from Spotify. Nice. <laughs>